Howdy, 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 my beautiful Cancer. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Cancer, for June. All right, so if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Cancer, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Cancer, so you can get the full spectrum of what's going down for you and your life in specific. But other than that, let's just jump right into this tarot reading here today for you, Cancer. All right. We have the Hierophant stepping forward to you with the two, okay, darling, the U2 of Cups coming in here. And then we have here the four, okay, Cancer, some of y'all about to be getting hitched. Some of y'all about to be having some type of love offer. <laughs> and it's going to be coming in from somebody that wasn't showing emotion beforehand. All right. I wouldn't be really surprised when I see due to this higher front energy here and then this Wheel of Fortune, I wouldn't be surprised if someone that you have been friends with for a long time comes at you from a place of being like, oh, hey, do you want to like take this further? All right. Even I guess in a in a more of a career aspect as well, it's like your boss coming towards you with an opportunity of being like, oh, hey, do you actually want to be like manager of this place here? It's the sense for you, Cancer, of what's coming towards you is where is like energies where you are able to finally start putting your roots into a place where you're able to start finally settling in somewhere and really you know when you think about that hierophant energy it's that really nice devoted it is known as the card of marriage all right and when you have this four of pentacles that's the card of investments someone is noticing you and wants to invest in you and wants to have you be part of their life be have cancer's energy be more present in their life for the long haul here all right again if this is more so in like a love aspect or like a friendship aspect here i get this sense of where it's just like you, d you don't see this coming from them, right? When I see that Wheel of Fortune from the back of the deck, like it's like a change of hearts from them out of the blue. It's the sense for them where it's like they've always had like these type of feelings. You might've gotten like a hint here or there, but you've always said to yourself, being like, oh no, I'm just being crazy and like, what have you here. But it's like, you're really caught off guard. Girl, can I speak? You're really caught off guard, Cancer, by the affection, the unexpected affection that comes to you, all right? I even get the sense that you end up getting courted by like a multitude of people. And I know astrologically, it makes the most sense right now cancer yeah uh when it comes to love like love is really in the air um with what's going on with the planets so it makes it a lot of sense right now but it's like you're going to be getting like it makes me think about this one tv show on netflix um i forget the name of of, of it but um bridgerton and on bridgerton there's like this one part where it's just like these ladies come in and then each lady gets courted by all the eligible bachelors right and i feel as if for you score uh and why am i wanting to call you scorpio cancer i feel like for you guys right now cancer you guys are going to be getting courted uh you guys are going it's like the sense where someone wants to lock it in before it's too late especially even like especially in a job dynamic here cancer i want to be telling y'all to be prepared for the opportunity of getting more of a managerial managerial a manager position a position with more responsibility on on you here all right so let's continue on with this we have the page of pentacles coming in here the six of wands as well as the queen of swords coming in here uh cancer all right so this is interesting to me because i see this in a dynamic where it's like you get this offer all right someone extends out a pentacle to you but then it's like for you cancer you start telling yourself being like oh no this is too good to be true all right i want to be telling you cancer the biggest mistake that you could be having in your life at this point in time is denying these blessings is to be questioning these blessings is to be telling yourself that you're not worthy of those blessings all right and so that's what some of y'all's problem is cancer you're noted like if you've noticed when it comes to manifestations like it, you'll start get like it'll be like one good thing happens and then it'll go back to being a dry spell and i feel like it's due to the fact of your relationship when it comes to being gifted when it comes to being spoiled when it comes to receiving attention all right cancer you need to get better at accepting love accepting the spoils that other people want to give to you all right 
I get this sense for you, uh, Cancer, especially with this Queen of or not this Queen of Swords, the Six of Wands in the heart of this energy. Like you are, your not only is your hard work being noticed, but it's like you are being found so desirable by so many energies here. You're being noticed by a lot of people here. So, darling, this is not the time, Cancer, to be going out to Walmart in your pajamas, darling. All right. Even if you were gonna be saying, being like, "Oh, Valka, like I don't, want, I'm not trying to attract nobody at Walmart, darling. Darling, you still want to zhuzh up your hair, darling, and." do a little something something because a lot of people are noticing you at this time cancer um it's almost as if like uh you are exuding like some type of pheromone <laughs> around other people and it's just like people can't help but try to get <laughs> i mean this in the less raunchy way as possible but like everyone's trying to get a piece of cancer everyone's trying to get a taste of cancer here all right that phrase that sentence just sounds weird we'll just move on <laughs> um here cancer all right so we have coming in after the fact the knight of cups the high priestess as well as the judgment card coming in here for you all right what i get here cancer is that man cancer i'm gonna have to be really rough on you guys right now all right you guys it's like you guys end up putting up such strong walls like you protect yourself which is fabulous right everyone should protect themselves but it's like you protect yourself to the point where it's like you're inaccessible to anybody so while yes you're blocking out the pain you're blocking out your enemies darling you're also blocking out blessings you need to put down your guard a little bit more. You, you need to put more trust in your spiritual team to protect you from energies that wouldn't per, um, be of service to you. Because I get the sense of where some of you guys end up blocking really good things coming into your life here. Blocking really good offers of love, offers of gifts, and what have you. Because like i don't know what your reasoning is here whether you have trust issues abandonment issues here cancer there's like like you have like this is giving me very much so a message where it's like spirit is actively taking action cancer and bringing forward these energies to you but it's like spirit brings over this fruit basket and you hear the knock on the door and you're just like, oh, no, no, I don't want to answer that. Like, because it could be a murderer when it's literally your spiritual team with a giant fruit basket and be like, oh, hey, like, welcome to the neighborhood. Right. And so that's what I see going on here. It's like this sense of paranoia to the point of where you don't allow anything good to happen to you. All right. And there's a lot of energy, he, energies here that want to invest into in you. All right. Not into you, but in you. I mean, maybe into you, darling. How you doing? But there's a lot of energies that want to invest in you, uh, Cancer. All right. You guys need to start getting more comfortable with the idea of being attractive. You need to get comfortable with the idea of being talented because it's like you it's like because you don't see it in yourself you don't understand why other people are pursuing you you don't understand why certain things are happening to you because you don't believe in your capabilities and what i want to be telling you cancer is that you know you don't have to believe in it yourself but you know logically if you're getting all these different offers if you're getting all these people wanting to connect with you here cancer you have to at some point believe them all right. It doesn't make sense to it doesn't make sense to, for you to think that you are not attractive when you have all these energies that want to connect with you. It doesn't make sense for you to think that you aren't a hard worker when you have these energies trying to come in and give you further uh, responsibility. Does that make sense, Cancer? And so I get this message here from your spiritual team of where it's just like, we're trying, man. We're trying, Cancer, to get these good blessings to you, darling, to get these gifts to you. But you have to put down your guard a little bit. Just put down those walls a little bit. You have to let down the drawbridge, right? And allow some energies in. You have the judgment energy bringing in confirmation where this is definitely spirits involved with this process so if you do have trust issues understandably we all can have trust issues right especially if you're trying to protect yourself but it's like you have your spiritual team blessing this this energy coming in here and you still are not open to this all right you will be very pleasantly surprised cancer by like it's almost like the flick of a switch cancer where it's just like the moment you start accepting and just yeah accepting these energies and believing in 
believing how other people are perceiving you believing in yourself here it's like a switch and like how your life how life events pan out for you all right you'll notice like because it's just this like we end up creating our biggest energetic blockages in our life cancer and so you always have to check your mindset and so once you remove that blockage it's like opening up that dam and then all this energy starts flooding in <clears throat> All right, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Justice Energy here, the Death card, as well as the Hermit card coming in here. Mm. So, Cancer, this is really just summarizing the same thing I just said here. You're afraid of rejection. You're afraid of, you know, very much so potentially, like, a. you're afraid of failing and making it, like, realize, like, it's like you think that, it's like you think that you fooled everybody into thinking that you're something that you're not, something more grandiose that you're not when you actually are. And so the reason why you don't want to open your heart up, the reason why you don't want to open up to these new energies coming in here is because you think that you're going to fail. You think that once you start engaging with this energy that they're going to realize that they don't want you anymore. I kind of feel as if you have like abandonment issues here. This, this reminds me of abandonment issues. This reminds me of like um a situation where you enter like you perhaps probably have like you might have some past trauma when you op like try to learn a, a new a new skill set when you try to engage with someone and you ended up being hurt really badly so then you just like promised yourself never again to allow yourself to be hurt again right and so cancer this is just something that you need to work on all right i'm not gonna sit here up here on my uh soap box darling and preach to you guys because we're all adults here. You know what it is that you need to be working on potentially. And uh, these cards are just here to bring that into awareness so you know what to be working on. And once you start working on that, it's like the floodgates of blessings start opening up for you. So Cancer, that's the tarot reading that I have for you, darling. All right. If you enjoy this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. Comment down below how these tarot cards resonate with you. All right, Cancer. And if you want to book a private reading with me, my website's linked down below, simplyvelka.com. All right, next to my social medias, TikTok and Instagram, Simply Velka, same as here. And I'll be connecting with you sometime in the near future, Cancer. All right, darling. Bye.